do China really want to deal almost at any cost? Well, no, and this is the thing, it's not just about trade. And you, you, it's almost like the, we had to reset the um, negotiations because it's not just about sort of, you know, wh whether it's a, on the imports or whether it's the opening of markets. It went, what destroyed the trade deal was going to the really heart of the like state directed capital ownership in, in China um, and then the, the US tech dominance. And so it's almost like you have to have a reset, re-gear the negotiations and actually address the wider issues in the relationship rather than just sort of concentrating on the trade. And if that happens, then that will take a long time to, to happen. Miranda, um, the news flow is extraordinary. We just saw the images from Hong Kong. We're all trying to catch up with an historic handshake within North Korea over the weekend. And we forget Osaka. How big a cave was it for the President of the United States? In, in terms of? Giving up on Huawei and the rest. I mean, as the President left Osaka, how do you look at the agreements that he uh, uh, ag agreed to? Well, from the Chinese side, it's not looking like a cave at all because they're basically taking, we're taking back the negotiation right. back to where we were in May. Um, and you get the, the Huawei deal back, and also you, you don't get the increase. What in about the U.S. side? So, but, well, the U.S. side also, I mean, you get both sides thinking they're one. But, the, um, but what we're, we're, we're going to have to shift to is much more of a negotiations on sort of the, where, where, the, where the technology side comes over the longer term and where that cooperation comes. Because obviously now there's no way that you can go back on what happened. Um, you know, the risk of a Huawei or similar measures taken by the US against China is now very, very real. So basically a lot of the trust, the, the negotiations, any of the trust between the two sides has effectively been annihilated over the last, you know, sort of month or so. And you have to come back to a reset where they're going, OK, we can still cooperate, but under what terms, under what new terms, and what's the relationship going to be in this kind of new world order? Because the, the existing negotiations were obviously going, you know, not successful. And now it's almost like both sides have to come together with a new agreement.